I'm going to scoot this over and then I want to see it in my outliner. I don't know where it is in my outliner. So if I come over here, I can see the one thing. I'll just turn that off. If your outliner is really, really big or if your folder is accidentally disclosed, right? So it's like uh, closed up here. You can tap the tilde key, which is just underneath the escape button. Your cursor has to be in your outliner and you can say show active and it will take you exactly to the point or to the, the spot in your folder where that object is. That's super helpful when you get up to like the hundreds of uh, objects. Anyway, um, I'm gonna turn this off and uh, make something new. This time I'm gonna do shift A and I wanna do a spotlight and I'm gonna do G, Z and just bring it up just a little bit here. And I'm gonna press and hold the period on my numpad to bring this into closer view. So right now I don't have, it's not a very bright scene. Um, let's say I want to have this shine at this, uh, U, the, this UV sphere. I click and hold and I just drag it right to the UV sphere. Right, so this little dot will help me kind of identify where things are. Now that is too far away for this light to affect it because it doesn't have enough power. But you notice that that little dot will actually just kind of find the surface of things. Now, with this light selected, you can see there's some kind of like bonker stuff happening here. Um, I can go forward and backwards and I can change the cone. Um, I'm pressing holding the middle mouse button to kind of orient myself uh, to this. The, I believe, I just need to quickly look at the options for for this guy when I'm moving it around. There is a view option where I can look through it. Um, set active object as camera. I think I can do this. Yes. Sweet. And so now that I'm looking through it, I can see exactly what it's hitting. Um, when I want to go ahead and just skip ahead to this. Uh, what you can do with your camera, uh, let's do, I'm going to turn that off um, and just look down here because everything is really dark and I need to look at it so I can see my scene a little bit better. All right, um, I'm going to skip ahead for just a second to show you something with our cameras. When I click on my camera, um, this guy right here, and I want to like look through it I can go to this button right here and that will look through the camera. Um, oop, I need to set that back to this guy. Viewport, set active objects as camera. Sweet, and that shows me my frame, but it doesn't give me the ability to like edit this scene very well. And so this is important. You can click on this little button right here. It's kind of hidden. It's one of those doors and corners. And that will bring up this uh, shelf. And in that shelf, I've got three different tabs. I'm gonna to go to the View tab and just scoot this over so you can see it more. Lock Camera to View. And now with this, I can twirl this back by hitting the N key. Now I can kind of move around and I can see where I'm at. Now why am I showing you that right now? And I will cover that all again. I'll hit N, turn that off. I wanna come back to my light and set it to view, cameras, set active object to camera. Now I can come up here and lock that camera to view and I can choose exactly where my light hits. Now that's cool and important and really helpful for the spotlight. I'm gonna turn this back off and leave my camera and just zoom out just a touch here so that I can uh, increase my light was backing up into an object, that's why I couldn't see it. So right now I don't have enough power in my light to actually get there. It's the fall off is, is too soon. So have a think, where would I go in the software to turn the power up of this light? If you thought to come over here into the light properties and power, just like we did with the point light, you are correct. So I'm gonna type in a thousand and see if it gets there. It sure does. Let's see if 100 gets there. It does as well, but 1,000 is better. Cool. And now I can start playing with some of these other things. Um, I've got this little yellow orb. I can make that go up and down. Oops. Um, but I'm actually going to just choose the 
um, distances here. So I have the size right here. I have the uh, penumbra, which is this little blend thing right here. I can make it a hard edge or a soft edge. I can have it show the whole cone so I can see exactly what's happening. Not great for when you're actually trying to edit things, but not terrible either. And I'm going to quickly come up here to uh, Cycles and see what it looks like in Cycles. Pretty similar, but now we've got some bounce light hitting some of these other things. That's kind of cool. And a lot of our options stay the same. Sometimes Cycles is a little different, um, but I can blend this and I can make my spot bigger or smaller. And I can go right into my active camera and scoot this down and around and find something else to look at, which is kind of cool, um, how it moves around the whole scene. Now I've like zoomed out, which is kind of weird. I'm going to zoom back in and be able to see some stuff. Um, I find this pretty interesting, what you can do with this. Uh, how the spotlights sizes work um, and then, yeah I want to get out of this I can uh, hit the camera button or I can come up here to the end key um, or this little shelf which you get to by tapping the N as a Nancy key